What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And today is October 13th. We just got this phone not even an hour ago. My unboxing video is exporting. I've got 13 minutes left until Premiere is done with it, and then I can upload it. So that's how quick this is happening. This is happening the same day the phone came out. So we're going to go ahead and drag down this right here, go to our settings, and we are going to go to About Phone. And we're going to show you what build we are on at the moment. And also, we can go to our build number here and keep tapping on that. Now, when we back out and go to developer options, we will be able to use USB debugging. Press OK. Go back. And now, this is important. Go under About Device and find out what model you have. This is the SM9, uh, or I'm sorry, the SMN901T. That's T-Mobile. So this is the T-Mobile version. You're going to Google CF Auto Route and click one of the first links you see. This is by far the easiest way to route the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. You are going to trip Knox. There is no getting around that. I've n I have not booted this thing into uh, recovery yet or bootloader. And I haven't done anything except log into my Google account. I haven't really installed any apps. It just updated some. I didn't really install any. And... Yeah, that's that's about it. So let's go to uh, let's go ahead and power this thing. Oh, oh yeah. And after all, there was no super user. I'm not rooted at the moment. I'm 100% stock. So we're gonna go ahead and power this thing off, and then we're going to pull the battery, and we are going to. Uh, well, you don't necessarily have to take the back off, but all these phones are the same. This is the same method you're gonna use to root the Note 3 and the S5, the S4, as long as you have an unlocked bootloader. Oh, that's another thing I need to mention. This is only gonna work on the Sprint and T-Mobile version of the Note 4. If you got AT&T and if you got Verizon, they've been locking bootloaders for years. So <laughs> if you got that device on that carrier, don't don't watch this video because this isn't gonna work for you. You need to wait months until early exploits found. So uh, most of the time it's volume down in the power button and the home buttons, and you hold it until you get to this little screen right here, press volume up to continue. And you're going to see right there that we are currently not tripped. We, we had, nothing's tripped. That's exactly how things are right now. And yeah, so let's go ahead and root this bad boy. Um, let's go ahead and plug in the USB cable and let it install the drivers while we're doing all this stuff. If uh, you go here and you scroll down a little bit and you need to look for your number. At, mine was SMN. 910T. So we're going to hit control F and we're going to type in N910 and then T for the T-Mobile version. My build was NIH. That, that's why I went to about phone and showed you that. So now we're going to go ahead and click on download right here. And again, this is going to trip Knox. That 0x0, zero zero, that warranty, it's going to be gone. You're not going to have any warranty through Samsung. But you know, I like installing Signage Mod 11, and that's the biggest reason I got this on T-Mobile instead of Verizon or AT&T. I do have AT&T, and I had Verizon, but I'm not going to get a Samsung phone on there because I know they're going to be locked. So we're going to download this, and it's going to put it in our Downloads folder, and we're going to go ahead and click Show in Folder once it's done. There, Show in Folder. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, double-click on this. It's a bunch of files in here, so you need to right-click on it choose extract and you want to make it as a folder so like extract to cf auto root little slash so now it's going to be a folder right there and then in here's all the files you're going to need you got your uh root method right here and then let's go ahead and right click on odin 307 run it as the administrator if a little pop-up comes up you're good if you do not see com and then a number that could be any random number if you do not see com and a number you're, you, you don't have the right drivers installed. And I will link to the latest Samsung USB drivers in the description below. Chainfire has made this really easy. There's almost no way to mess this up. You can't uncheck anything. You can't do anything else. Go to PDA. And then make sure you're in that same folder you got your stuff in. So we extracted it all right here. And then you need to click on that. Press open. Now, depending on how large the file is, it's got to do a little check something. So if it's like a full tar for flashing a stock phone which we will do a video on how to flash this thing stock in the future so please make sure you're subscribed if you are not subscribed already by clicking the little subscribe button below so now all we're going to do is pick up our phone here and hit start and this is going to root our t-mobile samsung galaxy note 4 let's go ahead and get that in the shot there and bam we are rooted it was that easy now we trip Knox. Knox is you know tripped forever 
get a good shot of that right there. That is what you're going to see when you do this method. It says rebooting in 10 seconds. And then, bam, you're rooted. You're freaking rooted. How easy was that? Now, again, I told you before you did this, Nox is tripped. There's no way in hell you're going to go back and untrip it. It's tripped forever. It's done. It's over. Uh, it's an internal e-fuse that gets blown the moment you root this thing. And instead of worrying about, <laughs> oh, did I trip Nox? Did I trip Nox? Screw Nox. Just freaking trip it. So now in our app drawer here, we're going to find this new app called Super SU. Now, there are other ways to do this, like what you can do is also you can own in a twerp recovery meant for your phone, and uh, also when you open up Super SU, there's going to be a binary update, just hit continue, and the normal, and also anytime you go to your Play Store and you see that the app Super SU has an update, make sure after that app updates, you go to your app drawer, you open it, and then if it says your binary has an update, choose the normal method, and then it should say okay in a second here. Well, also, you want to make sure you hit OK to disable Knox. Disable Knox. Knox was successfully disabled. Okay, and also, I'm going to put this on Instagram at the moment. All right, so I went ahead and did that. So there we go. I just posted my picture on my Instagram, instagram.com slash www.joshdew. If you're in the Instagram app, just search for www.joshdew. And there we go. I just posted letting everybody know before this video even went live that I rooted my Note 4. So <laughs> we're almost done here. Nox was successfully disabled, so you want that. Nox is going to limit what you can do with root, so please hit OK. And now after your binary, up, and you're only going to see that screen one time. You should only see that screen one time, unless, of course, you apply an official update. It updates your ROM, and then you root it again, and then it's got to dis disable Nox again. But every time Super SU, the app has an update, you shouldn't see that disable Nox screen. You should only see it one time. Again, unless you're flashing a stock ROM, which will flash your system and add Nox back in there. So also make sure you reboot every time you update your binary. So anytime the app Super SU has an update, I'm going to say it one more time. Anytime the Super SU app has an update, make sure you open that app up. After you update it, you hit uh, update binary, hit normal, and then when it asks you to reboot, make sure you reboot. Uh, that's just going to make sure everything works properly. And look at that. We are now rooted. If we open Super SU, it will not say that there is an update available. Um, actually, yeah. Okay, so it is on 2.1.3. And also, if you like Chainfire, make sure you hit Upgrade to Pro. I have purchased the Pro version. I stuffed the login to my Google Play account, but I have purchased the Pro version. If you purchase the Pro version, this little box right here, Survival Mode, anytime there's an update, like and you hit OK, Accept Update, Apply It, this is going to try to restore root. On my NVIDIA Shield, uh, probably about eh, six, seven times out of 10, if there's an update, this method right here will restore root once it's rebooted. So, and also make sure you uncheck that. That'll get a little bit annoying, but that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I brought you the very first how to root the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4 video. So yeah. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already by hitting the subscribe button below. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on, to see what's coming out next, and etc. All links to all my social media accounts, other YouTube channels, this Super SU, the CF Auto Route, links to everything will be in the description below. Click the little text at the bottom of the video that says show more to expand the description to see all the links. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.